Keto living is the life for me. Coffee, cooking, and recipes. Spending my days with my doggies. So be a sport. Set your alarm for Wednesdays for the Warden's Report. Welcome to the Warden Report. Yes, I still have my glasses on. But I will probably put my contacts in in the morning. Uh, it's just, I don't know. This morning I woke up really late, you know. Um, so normally, you know, it's like 7.40. And I just noticed today, I was like, oh my gosh, it's already 7.50. But I clocked in at exactly 8, which rarely happens. It's usually I clock in 7.57, 7.58. But, like, it was just, woo, made it. So anyways, uh, welcome to the Warden Report. I hope you're enjoying this channel. If you love it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I want to have you along with me here. And please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. While we're right here, go ahead, hit the thumbs up. If you don't do it now, you'll forget later. So do it now. That's what I have to do myself. See, this is why I don't like, this is why I got tired of wearing glasses. Because this is what I do. All freaking day long. Um, so anyways, everything's going well. It is Wednesday. Seeing the comments as they come in. Thank you so much for that. Really love seeing everyone's comments. Shout out to Laura. She is going back through all of the warden reports, y'all, and putting comments on all of them. So thank you. And you might be asking, why would she do that? I mean, Hello, it's the Warden Report. If you haven't seen all of these, why not? Like, go comment below, why not? Or just go start watching them. So, I'm trying to put together a giveaway for when I hit the 100th episode, which we're getting there. And in order to be eligible, you have to comment and like every Warden Report. So, everyone from the first one on... Make sure you have gone in and liked it and left a comment because I'm going to do the the way of where I randomly pick one of the episodes so I have no idea which one it will be. And then from there, it'll randomly pick a comment. So make sure you're there. Laura S. is sure getting in all of her comments. So, you know, she's make sure she's covered because what if it's one of those weeks? I don't know. I don't know. The 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 universe will decide which video will be the one that we select a comment. So make sure you do a uh, comment below. And I'm thinking still sending emails out to different companies, hopefully to get sent some things, but I'm thinking if I get enough, I might do two giveaways. So one will be just for channel members and then the other one will be for non-channel members. So then that way, um, on the non-channel member giveaway, it will include a month uh, where you could join us on our once a month supper club. Um, but since channel members already got that, then I was thinking, well, I'll do a different giveaway for channel members versus non-channel members. So I hope this all works out. Let me know. Comment now. Let me know because I've been, you know, sending various emails. But, you know, we're not huge on products here. Um, comment below. Who do you think I should reach out to? Who do you think would be good? Um, so, you know, I am sending those, seeing what I could get. But, hey, any suggestions? Like, I was like, you know, I, I bought those Magic Spoon bars. I'm going to email them, right? Maybe if they send it or not. Um, I did get some coffee already and I'm just seeing what else I can get or if you have any ideas, what would be, what do you think would be good item to include in a giveaway from this channel and the Warden Report specifically? So let me know. Um, and then I might even include maybe a couple of our spices as well in the giveaways. So, include all of that. Let me know who else I should email, what companies, 
and I'll try to hopefully get that all done and sit out to them and we shall see, right? So yes, thank you again. Welcome to the Warren Report. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm having for lunch today. For my lunch day, of course I got my avocado, I got some strawberries we gotta eat, a few slices of hard salami, a couple of cheeses, an avocado, and the cheese, that's that pumpkin cheese. And this is my thing. I, like Heath will eat cheese is cheese, right? To him, he's just like, any cheese will do, just give me cheese. He was not a huge fan of the pumpkin. I like it. I'm more the type that I prefer like a specialty cheese, a bougie cheese, if you will. And then I'll have that with mine, like as a side to like the salami. I like some specialty cheese. I want to know, what about you? Are you more of, if you have cheese, you want it to be special? Or are you just like, give me all the cheese? And for dinner tonight, we've got uh, some of the discount sausage I got last week. Mixed with peppers and onions, assorted varieties. And then on the side is a salad. And I did a homemade blue cheese dressing. So if you saw last week's Warden Report, I got blue cheese on the discount. So I used that blue cheese mixed with some sour cream, uh, our homemade mayo, and then some seized beans. And that's it, y'all. And look at that. It's so thick and creamy. And then a little cheese crisp on the side. All right, on this Friday Eve, I'm having the rest of the salad mixed with my salami, some cheese, cucumber, tomatoes, see my pumpkin seeds there, our homemade blue cheese dressing. There's also strawberries. Um, no olives, y'all. I'm out of olives. Pout. Um, and then, of course, my avocado. And that's my lunch today. And Friday's lunch, I've got a bacon wrapped sausage, some blue cheese dressing on the side, and then a small avocado. And that's my lunch today. Stay tuned to the Friday night feast to see what we made for dinner. All right, y'all, I'm back from the store. This is not everything, but I'm going to start with Aldi. So Aldi, of course, got my avocados. And then they had their spaghetti squash, acorn squash, and butternut squash for 85 cents a pound. So I got the spaghetti squash. And I know acorn squashes are higher in carbs, but I'm, I generally only have them this time of year. And then here is uh, bell peppers, jalapenos, heat salsa, some more olives with garlic. And then some of this is for a recipe that we are doing for the cook-along. So I've got cream cheese, Irish butter, and then look at this I found at Aldi. It's the Too Good Pumpkin. Look, doesn't that sound so good? I'm going to try that. And then raspberries and strawberries, some chorizo. That We'll be using that on the Friday Night Feast. And, of course, my heavy cream. And then look. I got a pajama set, y'all, and it's, so the shirt and then the pants actually have pockets, so I'm excited, and then uh, moving on, I'll do H-E-B uh, next, I mean, and I did get two of these. He loves this stuff. All right, y'all, next, we went to, we, it's me, it was just me, went to H-E-B, what I got there, so Heath and I both have accounts. You know how everything you sign up for the app. But they will send special coupons um, to certain people's emails. So he's got a lot of good coupons that I didn't get. So one of them was $5 off if you spend at least $25 on groceries. Check. Um, $3 off of produce. So... Um, any produce, as long as you spent at least $3. So I got heat. These were on sale two for four. So I got those. And then it was, let's see, I'm trying to think. There was other coupons. So I got also, sorry, y'all. Heat was a little mad because I only got one for myself. And then I got more Brazil nuts. Egg Life, that's for the Friday night feast. Easy Melt, Friday night feast. 
And then, yes, I know it's shredded Mott's two-pound bag. We are going to be using some of that tonight. And then I'm going to show you all a little bit more. But let me move over here. The other special they had is if you spent at least $20 on the brand Mi Tienda, then you got $4 off. So how I did that is I got these tacos. So they're both chicken. One's chili verde. Let's see, it's per pound. And one's polo con guajillo. I was like, ooh, this sounds really good. And let's see, where's the ingredients? They're pretty clean, y'all. Because some of this stuff I've noticed for the brand We'll put in like canola oil and sugar and stuff, but these two chicken ones are clean. So I got those, and then I got this salsa roja. And again, I had to check because some of their salsas do have canola oil and sugar. So this one's clean. They had a habanero one, but it's with canola oil. So I got this instead. And so this was $3.98, this, and then the Mi Tienda, the Heat's favorite, the pineapple one, that's the same brand, and they're still two for three. So I got those two for Heath. So all together, this is like $20.62, and I got $4 off that. Then they had their Central Market kombuchas, buy three, get a dollar off, so they're $2.68 each. So basically 33 cents off per each one. So look, this is their, I got some of their limited edition, the Pear A Normal Potion. Isn't that cute? I'd already tried it. It's really good. I love the blueberry ginger. And then look at this one, cranberry cinnamon. I was like, okay, those sound really good. So I got those dollar off. Then these donuts, a dollar off. And when you bought the shredded, it was any of their 32-ounce shredded cheese, you got a free dozen eggs. So that's what I got there. And I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I guess that was it. So I ended up getting like $19 off of my groceries. So a dollar here, four for the Mi Tienda, another dollar for that. So let's see, five, six. And then $5 off just for buying groceries. So that's 11 plus, I feel like there was something else I got. Hmm. And then I got these. Mar uh, these are normally $4.50, so I got that for free. And you know what? I'm just now thinking I should have checked. What's the expiration? Oh, we're good. We're good. Um, I feel like there was something else I got. You got a cute, oh, the tomatoes, $3 back on that as well. So, yeah, all I thought that was some pretty good deals. But, Ian, all I did was I switched to Heath's account since he had all those bonus coupons. And then, uh, finally, I went to Kroger. Didn't get too much there. So, what I got is they had their two-and-a-half-pound party wings, for $6.99 a bag, y'all. So up to five. So I got two bags of that. We love it's just so easy to have basically wings in the freezer because you know there are nights where you're like, I just don't want to cook. And it's really easy to just throw some wings in the air fryer. Then look, I got some markdown cheese, three dollars eight cents, and it's the espresso one. Isn't that exciting? And then found some markdown mushrooms. $1.64 plus I had 60 cents off. So I only paid a dollar four for this pound of mushrooms. Then I got the broccoli slaw, slaw marked down to $1.50. So I'm gonna have that for lunch. The blueberries were $3.49. They're jumbo, but that is for a recipe tonight. And then they had their one pound blocks for $2.99. So I got two of those for Heath. He's telling me he's already gone through those 10 pounds of cheese. Uh, I mean, this is ridiculous. But anyhow, that's all I got at Kroger. Um, 
so I'm gonna go put this away and start making my broccoli slaw lunch. Here's that lunch, y'all. So I took that broccoli slaw, add four slices of bacon that I fried up, and the bacon grease, and then I just put in a heaping tablespoon of the blue cheese dressing and just mix that up so it's kind of lightly coated. And that's my lunch. Of course, I have my avocado here, and I have my olives. So I'll be having all of that, plus I'm going to eat the pumpkin yogurt as well, y'all. So, looks like a good lunch, I think. For a 90 plus degree day here, this is refreshing. For dinner tonight, I took that acorn squash, filled it with the um, chicken verde, and we sauteed up, and then I topped with a dollop of sour cream, and I've got jalapenos, and cheese, and then an avocado on the side. All right, y'all, here's our house. And it already looks kind of fall anyways, right? And a little overgrown. But we're going to start setting up our tombstone, our cemetery. Okay, y'all, this is most of what's after. See, one of them has already fallen, but... I need to go back and do a couple things, like my bat, he keeps falling, so I need heat to help me, but he can't do it because it's too hot. And I need to put more of the little fence up, but it is, the ground is so dry, because I can't remember the last time we got rain, that it's really hard to push anything into the ground right now, so I can't get those fence things up. I got one in, but I can't do, the, the ground's just too dry. And then I need to find a way to fix the bat so he stays up. But yeah, that's that there. Here's my little cemetery as you walk up. And then I've got my tree guy. And there's a couple more. Whew, sorry, y'all. It is hot. And... There's this one. This is my latest, I guess, uh, tombstone, so to speak. Isn't that gorgeous? Of course, I had to put the little dog by it. Old Faithful, right? And then I got just a couple things. That one also lights up. And then... You can tell, you can see the white thing because I just can't get them in. And i still working on the porch. Still a lot to do there. But, my little witch. That's her house, of course. Her house in the woods. There's her cat, of course. And then, right here we have our blow-up spider. I saw at Target they have a spider web. And I'm thinking of getting that and putting it on the corner out towards the spider. But yeah, that's what we got done today. It's freaking hot. Y'all, you know, it's hot. It's too hot for me out here. So, and then here's my wraith. I got them a couple years ago. And then look. Ready? Oh, I think I turned it off. But a little, like, venom sticks out like it's going to get you. That's the doorbell. And then here's my little wreath I made, I don't know, last year or the year before. And that side just stays up permanently. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I've got so far. So once we get more going, then I'll do it. But I noticed, I think the yard men are not cleaning up all the pine needles again. So we'll have to see about getting that fixed. Happy Monday, and today's lunch is some more of that broccoli slaw with some of my homemade mayo, that's bacon and pumpkin seeds on top, some olives, and a small avocado. So happy Monday. I did a thing. What do y'all think? Well, here, let me show you. Oh, I hope I don't, don't want to go too far because then you'll see my work stuff, but... What do y'all think? I asked some of y'all that were on the MS journey what y'all thought. Sorry, phone call. Spam. But here it is again. Kind of more in 
more light, I guess. But yeah, I did it all myself. I'm kind of sad because I did like the black that was in there. But uh, when I was talking to the lady at Sally's, that's where I went and got the hair stuff. She was like, I mean, it looks like there might be some black in there. Maybe didn't didn't get lightened enough. But anyways, she was like, no, do two colors. That's probably beyond your expertise, right? But after doing this... Like, I, I'm just, like, shocked. I'm like, look at the the roots, my eyelashes, everything. I was like, after doing this, I think I could do it. In fact, I was coming up with different ideas. Like, ooh, I could do a tri-color. Like, I could have a layer back, back here of, like, blue. And then another layer that's kind of like an orange-yellow. And then most of it be the red. And so it looked like almost a flame. I don't know. What do y'all think? Anyhow, I don't know if I'll do that anytime soon. But yeah, I'm just curious. Uh, I was glad to try something different, right? Um, so, got a lot going on this week. It is, of course, Monday. It is busy. I'm at lunch. I'm going to get to eat my lunch and then get back to work because that's, that's what Mondays are, right? And for dinner tonight, what I made was a, I guess, shrimp... Arabata. Basically, we use spaghetti squash, just half of one, and then we have shrimp in there, mushrooms, jalapenos, and then I took a marinara and made it spicy, and then topped with some mozzarella, y'all. My lunch today, that broccoli saw, the last of it was some bacon, and of course some tomatoes and olives and ferments added to it, along with my avocado. Well, that wraps up another week of the Warden Report. I think we only have like a couple more weeks, y'all. I thought there was something on my teeth. I think it's just the lighting. But a couple more weeks until we reach um, episode 100. So I hope you go ahead and give this video a like. And give me a comment because that will be part of the giveaway. Sorry, y'all. Hmm. Anyhow, I'm sure you're loving that. Anyhow, um, please go ahead and do that, y'all. I really appreciate it. And I know these haven't been that long lately, but this coming one for next week should be longer because I'm going to try to film as much as I can this weekend when we're in Galveston and everywhere we're going and what we're doing, eating, all of that fun stuff right so i'm going to try to get all of that done this weekend so stay tuned and if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see or talk to y'all later bye and stay tuned to see all of our wonderful channel members thank y'all so much again for your continued support bye